oscillus nodes and Janvier lesions are probably historical signs of infective endocarditis which we uh, see very rarely today due to maybe early diagnosis and appropriate therapy of infective endocarditis. Osler's notes, named by William Osler in the beginning of the 20th century, as you can see in the diagram, is seen usually in the pulp of the fingers or in the toes. You can just remember the um, alphabet P, so it is seen in the pulp of the fingers and toes. The size varies from pinhead, that is maybe 2 millimeter to half a centimeter size pinhead to pea size. Color may be pink to purple. In the initial phase it is pink when it is formed and subsequently it changes to purple and can even fade out to a blackish color at the later stages. And one characteristic feature is that they are painful. Though the size may be small it is painful and it is believed to be due to immune complex deposition which occurs as a result of infective endocarditis. Janvier lesions, contrary to Osler's notes, are non-tender and they are seen in the palm and in the soles and they look like, as you can see there, as erythematous uh, macules, sometimes as even hemorrhagic macules and most experts believe that they are nothing but micro abscesses which are nothing but metastasis of the infective uh, process in the heart so it causes micro abscesses of the dermis and results in necrosis of the epidermis which produces that characteristic feature immunological theory is also uh, being debated but as i told earlier both oscillos nodes and genuilations are relatively uncommon but still it is worth looking for it in a patient with a prolonged uh, fever and features of valvular regurgitation. You can see more clinical videos in this channel.